Hi friends! I'm here in the backyard um, with a bunch of birds singing that maybe you can hear and my puppy dog who hopefully doesn't do anything too noisy um, to read A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. Um, I'm super excited to read this book because a friend of mine um, sent it to me. It is her boy's favorite book and she decided that I needed to have a copy and I'm deciding that you need to hear this story. This is A Couch for Llama. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, and hiding and seeking. They had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Whee! Oops! Hey! One day they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. But on the way home, Something went wrong. Whoosh! Llama found a couch. <laughs> Llama braid, hello, to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away but it just wouldn't budge. The Lago family noticed something was wrong. Oh no, where's our couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very, Boring. So, Llama snuck up and pounced and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled, jumped and bumped. and fell down into the smushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually finally completely loved the couch. The Lago family found their couch and a llama. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama, we'll be back. What a surprise, a couch for llama. <laughs> At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But llama, was happiest of all. The end. <laughs>